Good day. Today is Tuesday, October 11th. This is Nancy Garnan with Remax Lines bringing you your Market Watch report on the new listings in Fort Collins this past week. I'm sorry, I'm trying to move this over and it's not catching to scoot over. So there's 32 listings and here's a map of where there are and you can see they're spread kind of all around the city. One over here in Ptarmigan and so let's get going with these 32. Uh, my number, if you want to reach myself or Davini, is 970-622-1846. So let's get started. Um, that was the most expensive one, and I'm going to cover my lovely picture up. And also, I want you to know I have a free online class. I think I'm covering my, my uh, information up a little bit here, too, to, to learn the art of real estate investing. So the first one is 130 Skyway at 148.9, and it's a a uh, beautifully remodeled ranch and it is in Skyview subdivision and I think that's electric baseboard heat. Sitka in Fort Collins is 165 it's on um, 0.2 acres. I think this one is bank owned and uh, that's why I remember seeing it from Friday. Taft Hill Road at 175 there's no picture it's a short sale hardwood floors Sharp Street at 182 in Fort Collins it's a great owner occupied or investment property this is in Wagonwell subdivision, and you could see just a few pictures. That's all we need to see on these things. Shirley Drive in Fort Collins is in County Side Park. And it looks like they've done some nice updating to this one. It was built in 1979, and you have in the bi-level walkout on this back side. 1609 Collins is in Ekblad. I don't want to say that one very fast. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting something caught in my throat. But it looks like they've done some nice... <coughs> Excuse me, updating on this one, and it was built in 1958. Bar Harbor and Brightwater Landing. So that's up north, up off, uh, here's the golf course, is what we're looking at. It's a garden home, maintained garden home. Uh, and that makes me wonder what the HOA is. It's $30 a month, so it can't be that much, and it's a short sale. Man, Marshfield Lane is in Maple Hill. This is newer construction, or it's new construction. It was the show home is at. And call today for your appointment to make this house a home. And I'm trying to see if it is a builder contract required. I think it's already built. Sometimes you can't tell with these builders. It's just a little bit difficult and it takes a little bit more research. 2007 Newcastles, 200,000. It was four bedrooms and they're all upstairs. Um, built in 1983 and it's got kind of a covered porch for some shading that's nice looks like it needs some grass Columbine Court is a ranch for 200,000 um, it's super close to Old Town and I was looking to see if I have seen this one before and I'm not really sure once you get into the kitchen it's much easier to tell um, this one is not one that I've seen it looks like it's had some updating and could use some more 1912 Ames Court is 204000 It's in Rossboro. It's built in 1989. It's a tri-level, and it looks like they've done a nice job with the wood floors and some updating in it. Sandstone Drive is 215 and we're not going very fast, so we might have to go a little bit faster to get through these. Flint Ridge at 220 Now, this Market Watch report shows you all the listings in Fort Collins and we can set up your own system to just see the ones that you're interested in. This one is in Brown Farm which is a nice location built in 1977 and it looks like it's had some updating. There's no pictures on this one on Alford. 2515 Ashland at 227.5 it's a large live large in this beauty. Interesting too built in 2007. Wagon Trail looks like some new construction. Juniper Lane is an Arthur C. Shelley subdivision. That's one I've heard very often. It must be, you know, the older subdivisions, this one was built in 1959. Oh, look at that heating source. You might want to update that. Dynas Court is in the Dynas Ad... I don't know how to... I think that just means it's a... Um, one owner brick ranch and a quiet subdivision. Don't know what to say. That one actually had me tongue tied. 534, 534 Del Clare Road is um, built in 1976. It's got um, just south of Drake, so it's in kind of a nice area. 
You can see they've got some of that um, par parquet flooring that used to be so very popular and lots of windows and open light too coming in. 6908 Autumn Ridge is in Providence Town and that's a little bit more updated and colorful than some of the ones you've seen in Providence Town. But this is also one of their higher end homes too at 265. Sylvan Court is built in 1923. Wow, look at that red door and it goes perfectly well with that chair. Kind of curious about the kitchen. Looks like that's got a nice, they've done a nice job with that. Looking for the range though, and somehow I'm missing it. Where's the next picture? Oh, there it is. It's hiding, so there's a thing down below. Okay, we can go on to the next picture. Bentley Place is in Coventry Subdivision. It's a craft, finely crafted ranch home and spacious entry. Looks like that fits large dining room table and a grand piano. That one was built in 1998. This one on Sandalwood was built in 1977, 76. It's a nice two-story, five bedrooms, four upstairs and one in the basement for 289. And if you don't like blue, paint covers a lot, especially the green, that's very personalized. Hearth Fire is, I want to make sure there's a house with this, and it looks like there is. Okay, good. Sometimes at $294, there's not, and it's just a price. But this one's not on the water, and that's part of the reason for the price. And it's nice and open. It was built in 2000. Northdale's in Providence Town, so we have two in Providence Town this week. And it looks like it's ready for you to move into. This one was built in 2003. Morgan Street's 325000 on 0.25 an acre. It's in University Acres, so it's got... Um, uh, four bedrooms, three upstairs, one in the basement. It's a co-car attached garage. And let's keep moving here. One on McMurray here, another four bedroom at 339. If you want a four bedroom under uh, 200, it's hard to find. And as you can see, we're finding a lot more over the 300 mark. Nicholas Drive is 294,000. Um, it's a four bedroom, four bath, three car tandem garage in the gated area of Ptarmigan. Sandy Shore is in Fossil Lake. It's a patio home. This one was built in 2010 um, by Luxury Homes of Northern Colorado. It's a four bedroom, two upstairs and two in the basement. So I'm going to see real quickly here if we can get into the basement. Um, it looks like they've done some really nice features with this for 532000 in a theater area. Kind of fun to see theater areas. In Linden Lake at 647000 I'm wondering if this one's been on the market uh, recently. Nope, 2008. That was a long time ago in our today's standards. Hardwood floors, grand open piano area. It's on a larger lot. Um, great kitchen, good open space. Be a fun one to go look at. Let me know if you want to go see it. And the last one today is at 941 Coho Run at 786000 it's two. It's got five bedrooms, three upstairs, two on the main floor, um, and there's only four pictures. So there's they didn't take us inside to see it. So this is definitely one if we want to know more about it, we have to go see it. This is Nancy Garnand at Remax Alliance, bringing you your Market Watch report at the listings in Fort Collins. Let us know if you want us to focus your search for you, so you don't have to see all of these. Don't don't meet your needs. Thanks. Bye now.